after visiting Danny's granddad. He's a very tiny, lovely old man. Um, I think we're gonna go to the pub for a little bit. And then we're going to Leamington to see my grandma. So, nice day filled with family. <laughs> my cousin and it's like the weirdest thing because she's always like not been the biggest fan of animals so I'm really really excited this puppy is like teeny I don't know how Remy's gonna be because he's not like the massivest fan of dogs massivest um but yeah, I'm excited he's not the biggest fan of dogs try to open the door <laughs> Look at that. You think you know, I put the door myself? <laughs> yeah, you can't. Oh, that is the tiniest dog. What's that face for? Day -day. We got burgers from a vegan place. and also vlogging in public again because I hate myself. It's quarter past six in the evening. I've just been to uni all day which is why I'm so tired but um, I'm about to meet Danny and Remy in town because we're going to Trinity Kitchen for some food. It's Remy's party on Sunday um, and we're not doing proper food. We're just gonna do like snacks and stuff. Just getting like crisps, popcorn, biscuits, like that kind of stuff. So I don't want to spend too much which is why I'm in home bargains. Um, so yeah, and also I'm gonna make cupcakes, so I need to get like cupcake mix or something because I don't know how to bake at all. How handy, I've just found this entire shelf which is just full of cake stuff. I think they've got these sprinkles. I basically wanna do like vanilla cupcakes, um, maybe with like party rings on top. They've got edible flowers. Oh my God, look at these edible unicorn wafers. Am I going over the top? Are these even vegan? Right, I'm in Sainsbury's now because I've been to like five different shops and it's just been a massive fail so far, but Sainsbury's has everything. I got my mini party rings and all of my pink panthers. 
I do also have a heron food bag, which is embarrassing, but it's fine. I'm at Trinity Kitchen, sorry if it's really loud. Basically, it's Trinity Kitchen has like a bunch of street food traders in, and there's like six core traders that are here all the time. And then there's six rotating street food vans that rotate every six weeks or so, I think. Um, so we've basically been invited to try out the street food vans. Not all of them have vegan options, but there's one that's literally all vegan junk food. So we're gonna try and not spend all of our money there because it's very tempting, but I'm gonna try and like branch out a little bit. Watch the air here. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck, oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say. What the deal, how you feel, not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, but don't be coming at me with that horse shit. Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit. I know in my soul. We going on well, and you know I got them refills. Got my dimes and the coffee vents playing on the JBL. Daily, I don't go to sleep unless the sun is up. Think I'm wasting all this time, feeling kind of stuck. Not enough. Reps only cares who the fuck does legs now. Turn it back. <coughs> Morning slash afternoon. It's like half twelve. Remy's just woken up and he's like super grumpy. Aren't you? Are you grumpy? Are you grumpy? Ah. <laughs> yeah, be cute um, for the camera, of course. Look at your big old head. Anyway, it is um, the day before Valentine's Day today, also known as Galentine's Day, but I have no friends. Because Danny's working tomorrow, we're going to ce celebrate Valentine's Day today and go to Bundo Bus, which is our favourite restaurant. But because we got food yesterday, we feel a bit like we're all, I was gonna say all eaten out. Not good phrasing. I ordered these brownie hearts from Bronze Vegan Brownies. There we go, this place. So I got a lotus biscuit one and a salted caramel one, I think. I said I'm being healthy. What I meant was I'm gonna eat brownies all day so I probably shouldn't also have Indian food. But we'll see, we might still go out. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know if I mentioned, Danny's currently getting his hair cut, so I might go meet him in town after I drop Remy off at nursery. I'm also gonna bleach my hair today, which I'm excited about, because look at my fucking roots. And the rest of my hair is currently like really light. I don't know if you can tell, I'll go into the light. Yeah, like look how light the rest of my hair is. So I'm gonna bleach my roots and then dye all my hair dark red, I think. Camera's about to die, so I'm just gonna real quick show you the main present I got him, which is this really, really cute illustration. I'm actually in love with it. It's from Hattie the Pirate on Instagram. Yeah, so she basically did the illustration and then I got it printed. But I don't think I like the size I got it done. I might get it done in A4. But yeah, how perfect is that? She even got the little rat as well. I wouldn't have ever mentioned on this channel, but when I met Danny, he had four rats, which obviously very quickly became my rats as well. Um, and obviously rats have like a short lifespan, so they've all passed away now. But um, we loved them so much. It was like our first pets that we had together, even though they were technically Danny's. And his favorite, and I know not have favorites, but his favorite was called Carl, who by the time I met him, he was white, but when he was born, he was gray. Um, so it's really cute that she's done a little gray rat on Danny's shoulder, because Carl was like, Carl was like Remy before Remy was born, like he was really needy and used to just like sit on Danny's shoulder all the time, so that's really cute. Sorry, I'm trying to fit loads in before my camera dies. The reason we want it in A4 is because we have this print in A4. I hope you can see that. It was done by Keita Illustrates on Instagram. Um, it's so cute. There I am. And there's Danny and Remy in his little baby carrier. She basically does, um illustrations in like a scene so she's done ones in like a living room or a kitchen or whatever but I had no idea like when she asked where she, where we wanted to be pictured I was just like we like nature I'll pick a park and I think that's really cute 
So I'm gonna put the one of me and Danny that Hattie did up on that wall as well. And then I think, I know this is really, really narcissistic, but I think every year I might get a different artist to do an illustration of our family because our family's obviously gonna change every year. Like Remy's gonna get bigger, we might have additions to the family or pets or whatever. So I think it'd be nice to have a wall full of art that's of us and it's all like different styles of art. I think that would look cool. I know it's really self-involved. We'll put it in Remy's room or something so that it's like not as narcissistic. Take a little guess as to who's woken up grumpy. You grumpy? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's so funny when he's just woken up. He's like not even, he's just not on this planet right now. Might as well still be asleep. You okay, bubs? Uh, yeah. There we go, morning. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna hide? <coughs> Where's Remy gone? <laughs> Who's that? Is that you? It's the day before Remy's birthday. Don't, I will cry. I'm pretty much all set, I think. Uh, I'm going for lunch with my sister and her boyfriend today, which I'm very excited about because I've never met him. And also she's going to Toronto, as in like moving to Toronto next week. So we just thought we'd like catch up away from the party tomorrow. So I'm gonna go meet them so that she can like say bye to Remy and stuff. I'm sorry, that was really, really close. Can I put you there? Not really, I have to crowd. Yeah, so I'm gonna go meet them and then I'm gonna come back and I just have to make some cupcakes because I was gonna make Remy's actual birthday cake and then I was like, I can't bake for shit. So I've asked someone else, well, paid someone else to make his birthday cake, which looks banging. She's dropping it off tomorrow, but it looks incredible. Um, you won't see it in this video. If you watch next week's video, which is Remy's birthday vlog, then you'll see it. But yeah, that looks great. And I guess I was just a little bit worried that like there wouldn't be enough for everyone, even though this cake is fucking huge. So I'm just making like packet cupcakes, which sounds like the easiest thing ever, but I just know it's gonna go wrong because I'm that bad at baking. Like, something's gonna go wrong. Can we file this under things I do not have high hopes for? Oh my God, I am the worst mum ever. This is not a cake. It smells like, um, like cream soda or something. Like vanilla coke or something. Oh for fuck's sake, Remy's crying. Can I not get a minute of peace? No, of course I can't. Do you want to make a cake? No. Oh, you don't want to make a cake. Just in case the baking thing wasn't hard enough, I now have a little assistant that I didn't want. Good. It resembles cake mix a lot more, but it's also lumpy as hell, if you can see any of those. Yep, that's all little balls of flour. Sorry in advance to anyone who comes to Remy's party and, and tries one of these cakes, by the way. He's just climbing in the washing machine. Don't worry about him. Thank you. I don't need a, a plastic lemon. You can have it back. Thank you. What are you doing? I don't know what you're saying, so... Yeah, just keep on. Good, good, good. Reusable cake things. This is the first time he's had cake, by the way. I didn't just casually feed him cake, but it's your birthday tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? So you're allowed cake. And with that, they are done. Um, yeah, they look a little bit sad. A little bit down in the dumps, but it's fine. So I'm gonna leave you here looking at my ugly cakes. Um, like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more cake content. That's a lie, I actually never post about cakes, but subscribe if you wanna see very mundane family vlogs and I will see you next week.